Our first lesson involves the introduction to circuit analysis, and that will, first of all, learning the language of electrical engineering, namely symbols and units found in circuit analysis, and this part one of many series. Our first course objective is that when we're given a certain electrical quantity, we want to convert it to an alternate description when described in terms of word, scientific notation, or decimal prefix notation. Now that's a mouthful, but we'll illustrate this to several examples, but we need to discuss what the de these uh, symbols look like and what they mean. So for example, we can take three signal variables. Here we have IVP. I stands for current, V stands for voltage, and P stands for power. And we'll discuss what those terms mean later on. Then we have the two basic variables, Q and W. Q stands for charge, and W stands for energy. And what we want to do in a circuit is to find the magnitude and direction, the sign, of unspecified variables, namely voltage or current. So let's start out with some simple definitions. First one is circuit, and we can think of a circuit as a interconnected of a bunch of electrical devices that carry energy or information. Some of these devices that we'll talk about and analyze are resistor, capacitors, and inductors. Another one is that since these carry information, the information is carried in terms of a form of a signal. And we can think of a signal as a time-varying electrical quantity, and most of the quantities that we're dealing with are current or voltages. So when I'm speaking in a microphone, I'm converting this mechanical or acoustic energy into an electrical signal such as current or voltage. Then we have a circuit diagram which just models the real thing that helps us write equations to predict what the electrical behavior of the real circuit is. Because that's what we want to do. We want to figure out how the behavior modifies and processes a certain signals. If a signal contains noise, we want to figure out how to design a circuit so that or some type of signal processing function to get rid of that noisy signal. This is found in communication systems as well. And then we want to have uh, another aspect of circuit analysis to design interface circuits. Because most of today's circuits are very inaccessible and we want to have ways to talk from one circuit to another circuit and the way you do that is that you condition these signals so that one part of a circuit talks to another part of the circuit and so interface circuits are those connecting complex integrated circuits with properly conditioned signals